Happy birthday, Karen. Is it okay if I join you? Jagger? Scott? It's been a while. Linda Seya, what are you doing back in town? I'm with the FBI now. Case brought me here. Jagger Cates? FBI? John. Oh, yeah. Okay. I would have reached out, but... You should have. Honestly, I wasn't sure if you'd want to see me. You know, after the divorce and everything. I was disappointed when you and Karen broke up, but... I respected you back then, and I respect you now. You pulled yourself up from nothing. That means a lot, Scott. So did Karen, both of you. I mean, you never were looking for things to be handed to you. I mean, you struggled. That's what I call true grit. We were so young. I often wonder what would have happened if we'd met later in life. People grow up, and then they just grow apart. But the love that started it all. That was real. But things change. Everything changes. So, have you seen Corinthos? I have. Well, tell me that's why you're here. To take that criminal down. Last time you were here, Corinthos, it was a small town hood. I remember. A couple of seedy businesses. He lived over his own strip club. Now he's living in a penthouse, and he walks around like he's the mayor. So why haven't you done something about it? Were you the DA for a while? Yeah, I was. And I tried many times, but he's very slippery. He's convinced people that he's a good guy instead of who he really is. Karen was so smart. <laughs> Smarter than me. Yeah, she was. That's why it's always driven me crazy that Sonny was able to get to her the way he was. You and me both. He made her believe that she needed him. Like without him, she ceased to exist. And he... Putting her to work as a stripper. Convincing her that it was something she chose. Sonny figured out where Karen was vulnerable. And he exploited her. He did. So, you know what? Make him pay! Take him out! <laughs> <laughs>